So everybody's been asking to see all the cool stuff we get from all these jobs. Um, so I kind of got it all laid out here. I'm just going to go through everything kind of one by one. Um, you can kind of see what the general <clears throat> theme is throughout this. Um, pretty much just like a bunch of history stuff, old stuff. So yeah, I'm just going to start. Um, so this is apparently a Vietnam helmet. That's pretty cool. I like this. That's pretty sweet. Um, kind of what holds it on your head and then it, I don't know if it was in combat, but it definitely looks used. These helmets, supposedly World War I, and I think this one was definitely used. I think maybe World War II. I'm not sure, but the guy said World War One. But anyway, so helmets. This. Write down in the comments what your guess is on what this is before I open it. It's got a handle. It's a typewriter. Kind of works. Um, it needs like the paper in it, and these are the letters, so you can't type on it really fast because they'll get caught up on each other like that. It's kind of sticky, but basically the letters will slap the ink like that and that's kind of how it gets it on the paper, but it still makes the noise. There it goes. <laughs> Bing! So that and then more military stuff. So we were doing a garage clean out when we first started and a nightstand kind of fell over and the drawer popped open and out fell all of this stuff um, and the guy didn't want it which was weird because it was like family stuff so I don't know if they just had some kind of beef or whatever but he didn't didn't want to keep it um, so this guy's entire military career was just kind of in the nightstand so like course certifications guess this is a book from where he's from or something a um, bunch of history stuff in here that's cool a Frank Sinatra book it's got some pretty neat pictures in here it's like a war book on top of being a Frank Sinatra book um, yeah and this all this stuff is pretty mint like you can tell the pages really aren't even probably haven't even been flipped through before yeah yeah there's the guy himself um, you could tell this guy was definitely legit <laughs> this dude had so many medals dude I mean look at this it's even missing some um, this is not from him this is from another job another military that's Kuwait I guess this is a some kind of letter this is this guy getting thanked for his support during the war in Vietnam <clears throat> from the sergeant major of the army so, like I said, this guy was fucking badass, clearly. Uh, this book is my favorite from this whole collection, though, because um, these pictures are crazy. Most of them are black and white. <laughs> this one's in color, though. Look at that. Super cool. I like this page. The civilians. People think shit is crazy now. Like, imagine living through the 70s, you know? Like, you think shit's crazy now? Real Life magazine from 43 during the wartime. Um, <laughs> get these advertisements in here. And these pictures. Um, where is this? Burma? Yeah. 
Look at these guys, dude. <laughs> The only spoon they had for mixing biscuits. Look at this guy. Yeah, jungle sores. I mean, shit was hardcore, dude. <laughs> Look at this car battery. Um, yeah, super cool, all right, <laughs> all right, now we're going to get into the more inappropriate shit, and YouTube will probably age restrict this video, but I age restrict them anyways ahead of time, because I know they will, um, so all of these and those vinyls came from the same job. Guess this guy like collected these, but I mean, he's got um, <laughs> tons of these. Um, and obviously I can't show the inside of most of them for obvious reasons, but uh, the advertisements in them are pretty cool though. Look at this Mercedes 540 Cabriolet. With a straight eight supercharger, look at that. 180 horsepower. <laughs> I mean, this car was worth a lot back then. There's no telling what it's worth now. Um, let's see, what year was this one from? 1990. But he's got ones in there older than that. Um, this is pretty funny. Look at this ad for these sunglasses. Um, for everybody that thinks Pit Vipers, um, started the trend, they absolutely did not. <laughs> I mean, so that's that. <laughs> um, this is just funny. <laughs> you can pause the video and read this entire thing. It's got so many, like, jokes on it and stuff. Um, this is from the same job as these. <laughs> um, this is funny. I can't even take this out of the box or this video will get banned. <laughs> um, okay. There's some really cool ones in here. Some really rare ones. Um, there's like a Hank Williams. There's a Rod Stewart. <laughs> Billy Joel. Some of these are so old and obscure. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Beach Boys. <laughs> There's the Hank one. Hank Williams with strings. The OG Hank. MGM. Yeah, it's crazy what people don't uh, don't bother to keep. Um, but I will gladly keep it because history is super, super important. Okay, <clears throat> I thought the GoPro did not record the whole thing. I was going to be pissed. But anyway, all right. Um, we found a lot more stuff than this. Um, a lot of tools have a generator in the garage that I got for free a um, bunch of random sockets I mean I keep that kind of stuff um, people always ask like why you know why don't you donate this stuff or whatever like I had a comment on that uh, sewage video why, why don't you donate you know all this stuff people could use that um, and the bit the main answer to that is a lot of these places that we pull stuff from um, like all this stuff that you see all these jobs are just normal you know like clean outs of a garage or something that's just kind of people's junk they just kind of don't don't want it whatever for whatever reason but um, the majority of the stuff that we do is is, is disgusting 
um, you know, like the sewage job. I mean, you know, it's got sewage all over it. A lot of these hoarding jobs, there's rats, um, you know, meat from 20 years ago, um, feces. I mean, you you know, you name it, whatever. It's it, it's contaminated because I mean, obviously we got a Tyvek up and wear respirators, gloves, whatever. Um, so you know, granted, it could be you know sanitized, um, but. Uh, there's you know I, for one I don't really have the time for that and for two even if you did sanitize it there's no way for the donation centers to know if we did sanitize it or didn't and they just don't you know <laughs> they just they, they don't really want to take stuff like that that's been infested with you know God knows what so hopefully that hopefully that has some clarification we we try not to waste stuff um, but at the same time it's like you know you can't save everything you know some stuff just has to be trashed and that's kind of just how it is um, so this is clothes um, which the duffel bag came with it I'm gonna show this last um, this is from that patch uh, that I had so Kuwait that's pretty cool um, uniforms, um, some more stuff from Kuwait, just like some t-shirts, <laughs> some of these still have the tag. I donated, um, to, because this job in particular had a ton of clothes that had the tags on it still, uh, so we took those to Goodwill, um. But yeah, super cool. Um, this is by far the coolest piece of clothing that I have and it's huge. So I'm gonna try to hold it up. Um, if you look at the tag, <laughs> so this is from Kuwait and it's a huge like coat, warlord coat thing. I mean, this is like straight out of Call of Duty. <laughs> this is uh pretty sweet way too big for me um i'm too short but yeah it's got like i don't know if this fur's like fake or whatever but yeah don't know who they got this off of or whatever but um yeah that's pretty cool and that's pretty much it um yeah mostly just history stuff vintage stuff uh and if anybody asks no i'm not selling any of this uh because i just like collecting history stuff for myself i'll eventually have uh probably some kind of room some kind of museum type of thing one of these days that's uh gonna put all this stuff hang it up on the walls and display it and everything so just because it's cool so yeah that's pretty much it um for this did some pressure washing and i'm gonna put that at the end of the video um coming up we got a ton of jobs lined up demolition um clean outs you name it haven't really posted in Jesus, get the camera off of that. I haven't really posted in a while because we really just haven't done anything super interesting that would make for good footage. It's all just been kind of regular clean out stuff, nothing super exciting. Um, but we got some exciting stuff coming up. My hair feel heavy as hell with this thing on. My hair feel like it's 40 more pounds. And I don't need no more extra head weight. I got enough head weight. <laughs> Yeah, buddy. <laughs> Hell yeah, boy. Yes, sir. Take me a dipsy in that pool over there.
Come on now, bees. Carpet always just smell funky. It's just thick. <laughs> oh, I thought that was a a, sh a shitter top. I said, "Boy, y'all went festive on the toilet, on the toilet lid." Oh, got it. <laughs> That's how you know you made it, boy. <laughs> I got I got that damn That's right. I got a Versace shitter in here. Oh heck no. Uh, thank you. <laughs> that was good footage right there. <laughs> Will you get this nail out of my foot? Thank you, appreciate you. Appreciate that, buddy. <laughs> Teamwork. <laughs> Teamwork keeps me out of the hospital. Yeah, like I was, I was thinking the same thing. Like try to find something to knock a bunch of them out. Yeah, we do. Here you go, boy. Thanks, sir. Yes, sir. That's a clean barrel. I think. Oh, but that 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 is a nice. That, that we just picked it up from Home Depot barrel right there, man. That was a solid clean barrel right there. This other one with the shovels in it, not so much.
already. Lens is probably okay. No more sewage on the concrete pad. By no means an expert pressure washer, but there's no more mud on it, which is pretty much all we were going for here. So, all right.